Welcome back to Classic Replay. These are not necessarily the best Codemasters games you can get, but these are the ones that I personally come back to and have played over the last two decades, maybe more. So kicking off firstly with BMX Simulator, this top-down colour fest for the Amstrad CPC. Let's face it, for £1.99 is absolutely amazing. Yes, I love all the Dizzy Adventures, still do, but this is the one I come back to over and over again. Spellbound Dizzy for the Amstrad CPC. Although very much Spectrum-like in its appearance, this for me was the most detailed, engrossing and highly playable. With over 100 screens, a scuba diving section, a runaway minecart section, and the need for lateral thinking, this one is a winner. Who are you going to call? Ghost Hunters! Not just one of the best Codemasters games ever released, but one of the best ever budget games of all time. It still looks great today, plays even better, and came with an intuitive crosshair as opposed to a run and gun style of affair. It still provides a fantastic challenge in 2020, and is a testament to game design of the 1980s. This next one from Codemasters might look a colourful mess, but she's got it where it counts, in the playability department. Many will tell you that this is probably the best Codemasters game released for the Amstrad CPC, but I'm not about to even go there. The reality is, this is just another great game from Codemasters. And back in the day, for those on a budget, $1.99 gave you all the fun of the fair. Long before Pinball Dreams on the Amstrad CPC, we had Advanced Pinball Simulator. Whilst nowhere near as good as the latter, it gave a good, honest, virtual experience of the physical world. Whilst many will choose ATV Simulator and other arcade simulations, I'll always be a pinball wizard at heart. Let's just admit it and get it out of the way. DJ Puff, along with the title, is completely broken. But back in the day, I personally felt completely starved of a good platformer on the Amstrad CPC. And for a budget title, despite its many flaws, I managed to gel really well with this game, which is why it makes the list. Don't ask me why, but me and my family absolutely loved Fast Food Dizzy. From the bouncy in-game music, to the fabulous colourful graphics, Fast Food Dizzy felt like an arcade game on your Amstrad CPC. And it's one I play quite often, and when I meet up with family, friends, it's one everybody remembers. All the fun of an egg and spoon race without actually being there. If, like me, you love the original and classic Gauntlet, you'll absolutely love Ninja Massacre on the Amstrad CPC. Whilst not as graphically refined and lacking in a smooth scroll, the music and playability more than make up for it. What you have here is a fantastic piece of code from Codemasters and one to pick up if you've never played. I know what you're thinking already. Why on earth has he picked this over the many classics available from Codemasters for the Amstrad CPC? The answer is simple. I love adventure games. And this one is an exploration around the globe. 
For me, it's just a great piece of code that continually drawed me in. It includes locations from all around the world and features a rendition of Peter Gabriel's Games Without Frontiers as a soundtrack. No list is complete without a bit of shoot 'em up action. And for £1.99, they didn't come much better than Super Tank. Although not a patch on the original Akari Warriors, Super Tank gave me hours of fun. All the fun of the arcade without the serious need of coinage abuse. This one is definitely difficult to master, but as I always like to say, it's never any fun if it's too easy. This for me is my number one Codemasters go-to game. It's a complete blatant rip-off of Super Sprint, but somehow betters it on the Amstrad CPC. Although sporting brightly coloured visuals, the detail of the cars leaves a lot to be desired. Everything shines as usual once again in the playability department. And this is not just one of the best top-down racers on the Amstrad CPC, it's definitely up there as one of the best. If you agree with this list, please let me know, or comment and let me know your personal favourites. Please like, comment or subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell. Until next time, bye!